welcome to Fascinating Womanhood Vintage Edition Basics. This is our introductory course to the full uh, class of Fascinating Womanhood. My name is Dixie Andalyn Forsyth, and I'm the oldest daughter of Helen Andalyn, and I'm currently president of Fascinating Womanhood. Uh, the story of Fascinating Womanhood is really interesting. It's a great history. My mother, Helen B. Andalyn, was born the year that women got the right to vote. And she uh, is just sort of an interesting side note. She grew up during the Depression, and her dream, ever since she was a little girl, was to have a, a kind of almost a romantic fairy tale marriage where she was deeply in love with her husband and he with her for their whole lives. And when she got married, she had a she married a really good man, my dad, but their marriage was just sort of okay. It wasn't what she was hoping. It was stable and solid, but it wasn't. What she was hoping so she being a religious person she began praying about it she prayed often about it and she came across as answer to her prayer these little booklets called uh, fascinating womanhood they were just little eight series of pamphlets that were stapled together and they so inspired her they were to single women and when i read them i thought wow she she really took this basic material and made an entire book out of it that's really quite different, but it contains some of the some of the basic principles in it. She wrote a book, uh, her first book, and was finished in 1965. It took her four years to write. And uh, and how she became a success is interesting too. We could maybe get into that in another time. But I am, as I said, her oldest daughter, and um, just a tiny bit about me, I am married uh, to the love of my life, Bob, and um, we have seven children that are grown and as of this date around 20 grandchildren and um, I am in charge of fasting womanhood because my mother was hoping that I would and I've always I'm very fortunate because I was raised with it and so my marriage has always been a fascinating womanhood marriage and I used to take it for granted but when I grew up and saw all the suffering out there and the divorces I just felt that I, I, uh, I've always had a great feeling for it because I know the principles in it are true. And so I'm currently finishing the new book, which is Fascinating Womanhood for the Timeless Woman. It's a sequel to my mother's book. She was hoping it would be written, but she was hoping we could do it together, but she became too frail and ended up just leaving it to me. So my, I'm, really uh, love and appreciate this opportunity to help as many women as I can. My mother in this slide is the one on the left. She's a picture that she was about 18 or 19. She gave this picture to my dad. It had two Aubrey on it, but you can't see it. The one on the right is interesting because it's a picture that was taken in, in 1975. Or 75. It appeared in Time Magazine and it was a whole big article on her. And she was really disappointed that the photographer put my dad behind her, but we just went for the place. So it wasn't really up to us. Uh, my sisters are there. I'm the one on the left holding the little boy who is my oldest son. And Bob is right next to me. So these are some of my mother's books. Well, they are my mother's books. These are before the original ones, before they were edited. Uh, if you see The Secrets of Winning Men, the one on the top left, that is just fascinating girl. Temporarily, for a very short time, she uh, changed the name to The Secrets of Winning Men, and then some young girls kind of uh, complained that they were afraid to read it anywhere but in their bedrooms because they didn't want people to see the title of the book when they were reading it. So she, I think it's less than a year she had. So those copies are kind of rare. The other... Uh, books, the light pink one, the dark pink one, the kind of purpley one, and the green one, are just different editions of Fascinating Womanhood that came out in different years. And then the top right is All About Raising Children that she wrote in, I think, the early 70s, which has just now been edited, and it's just newly available on Amazon and on our website. So I think the next slide, no, this one is my dad. Uh, he wrote a book uh, to men, Man of Steel and Velvet. It's not currently in print right now, but when we get to 
editing it. And by we, I don't mean me because I'm a woman. So it's going to be edited by probably my son, Richard, uh, if you will. And um, these, uh, just a tiny bit about me, I, um, other than my basic stuff, these are, I've edited, as my mother asked me to, these books of hers, um, the original Fascinating Womanhood, I, I edited it and became Fascinating Womanhood Vintage Edition. And the hot pink one next to it is the workbook, which you can download and print out. Then the two on the bottom are both um, Fascinating Girl. We have a, a wonderful new artist, Shinteu, and she uh, did the, that cover. And she's doing all of our covers for us. The one on the left is the paperback. The one on the right is the PDF. And coming soon is Fascinating Womanhood uh, for the Timeless Woman. That will not be the cover, but that's just the working cover still being created. Uh, we're very excited about All About Raising Children. It's just newly edited and available. And it hasn't actually been in print for some years, so this is kind of unusual. And uh, Shinteo again did this cover. We're really excited about that. So um, this, is just a, this is just the intro to the course of Fascinating Womanhood. So the overview, if you go ahead and, and take this whole course, is in eight lessons. The first one is celestial love, what it is, and the ideal woman from a man's point of view, understanding that. Lesson two covers accepting him at face value and the importance of admiring and appreciating him. Lesson three is a man's pride and learning about sympathetic understanding and the power of that. Lesson four is a man's role, making him number one. Lesson five is deep inner happiness and developing a worthy character. You know, some people think that character is kind of one of those boring things that you have to learn about in church. But if you don't have good character, everything else falls apart. So that's a really important uh, part of that lesson. Lesson six is the domestic goddess, which is one of my favorite ones, and the importance of our, our roles, both in that and in other capacities. Lesson seven is femininity. And lesson eight is childlikeness, which is another favorite and very important one. The object objective of the, this uh, class is to, you know, when you, when you take Fascinating Womanhood, I can't even describe in words how many thousands of people this has dramatically improved and changed their relationships. Um, when your marriage is deeply romantic all the time, it, there's nothing better. There's absolutely nothing better. And it is, people have lost faith in it, but there's no need to because you can actually learn what you can do to help you gain this kind of thing. It, it's fantastic for both husband and wife. Everybody wants this kind of thing. That's why people get married. That's why they love falling in love. The purpose of the course is to support and encourage women of the world in living the principles outlined in these books. We are all connected by the fact that we're women and we care about our families. We care about our relationships. And um, the, when we uh, meet these objectives, there's five things. It, 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 it's a guide to a deeply romantic marriage, but it also strengthens the home. When your marriage is good, your home life is good. Your home life is stable and safe and secure. It provides a role model for your children where, where, where men and women are partners but they have different roles and they're not you don't need two of the exact same thing and it helps you understand them and clarify them it helps you to enjoy your feminine role in a way that some women have never really enjoyed before now when it comes to conditions today it's uh it's unfortunately kind of abysmal and i think you know it's interesting that around the world I don't think there's one nation on earth that where there's a majority of happy marriages and families. It's, uh, it's really, it's really uh, troubling. And that's one of the reasons that I just felt I had to, had to do this and take up the responsibility that my mother left when she passed away. And you can absolutely do something about your marriage because women, women have, hold the key and we're, we'll totally get into that in the classes it's not that men some women say well men should 
men should do this too. And they should, but women are the ones who are most interested in relationships more quickly than men. They're more sensitive and sensitive to vulnerability. And so we have a great power if we learn to understand it. Uh, and strengthening the home, the home homes are what make up nations. And when you strengthen your home, you do something, if you want to be a good citizen of your nation, strengthen your home. There's no point in being home if uh, it's miserable there. Uh, we are role models to our children, to others, and this helps clarify it so it isn't all blurred. And uh, it helps you to enjoy your feminine role. And, and we'll get into all what the feminine role is. It's more than just just what the menial things that people sometimes attribute to us. We are we are incredibly valuable in the strengthening of our uh, homes and our nations. Today, it's it's kind of sad. It's kind of abysmal. And uh, and fascinating womanhood can help to not overnight. Uh, because feminism didn't didn't really the effects of feminism did not hit us overnight either, but it can help as as families are strengthened and marriages are strengthened, nations are strengthened, and that those thunderclouds and lightning strikes will become peaceful and beautiful. And I know because I have that kind of relationship. My mother did. My sisters do. And I know lots of other people who do. So for people out there who think this is impossible, it absolutely is. When you have a deeply happy marriage, you have the devoted love of a, a good man. And this assumes that you are married to a good man, but most men are good men. It's not that there, there are some bums out there too, and you have to watch out for them. But when you're married to a basically good guy, it's not perfect, but he's a decent man. You can have his devoted and deep love. You'll have better self-esteem. And also you'll realize more of your heartfelt desires because working a good team working together, you can accomplish much more than you ever will trying to get everything yourself. Plus, you won't be lonely. And so, um, I mean, everybody, everybody wants what fascinating womanhood can give to marriages. Remember, you hold the key. Women are the gatekeepers of civilization. We're the gatekeepers of procreation. We're the ones who have the babies. And when we, we have the babies, and women predominantly raise the people of this earth. There's some men that raise children, but predominantly they're raised by women. Even if you work full time and put your children in childcare, those are predominantly run by women. Men don't tend to gravitate to early childhood development and childcare. It's still women. And so you have a huge key that you hold that you can use if you just learn how to use it. Thank you so much for, for joining me in this introductory um, lesson. And I hope uh, you will go ahead and take the full class and it'll be recorded and you can get this class uh, for sale on our website. But you can also find a trained and certified teacher. We are training and certifying our teachers. And if you want to, this is really great because you can take a class from a teacher and have more personal interaction. And so many of our success stories have come from women who have taken courses because the book is great, but you learn so much more in a class. And these books are made to be read and learned in classroom activity because there's so many things that uh, you can you need to learn more about than is just written there. You can take a class online or in person or work with a mentor. At, uh, you can check us out at fascinatingwomanhood.com and check out our list of uh, current trained and certified teachers. Thanks for joining me.